Hey, Merry Christmas! Today I'm going to show you how I made this Santa mask from the movie It's a Wonderful Life. We were watching it this uh, the other day and it was just like, oh, I want to make that. So I just took a picture of the image and I got started. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to get a towel and you're going to wrap it um, in a roll, kind of this shape of the roundness of your face sort of thing. Stuff it into a garbage bag so the glue doesn't ruin the towel. Then you're going to find these pom-poms or uh, foam balls. And this is going to be the nose part. And I tried it with a bunch of different sizes. My favorite was definitely the large ball, the large size balls. Um, <clears throat> and then two smaller ones for the side part of the nose. And what I did is I just traced out an image. I threw, I first drew it out on paper and then I traced it onto the garbage bag. And it looks like it was a watered kind of marker, so it didn't quite work, but it was just like a rough size of what I wanted. And I got uh, the paper mache ready. So I ran out of newspaper and I thought, well, I'll just use printer paper and and um, it sort of worked. It just took a little bit longer to dry. So I think the next time I do this craft, I'll, next time I do this craft, I'll definitely use newspaper, which dries faster than printer paper. So I just kind of started placing this paper mache stuff. The solution I used was glue with some water. It's like a half and half situation. So a uh, cup of glue, cup of water, stir it together. Dip the paper in it and just start placing it. So uh, I figured I'd put um, some paper towels on top of the, um, to add more of a thickness to the paper mache. And this is where I think I'd change it. I wouldn't use paper towels. Paper towels don't dry very fast. So just straight up use newspaper next time, I think. And then I got some crumple up tissue paper and put that where the cheeks are and I just start placing the nose part and I did a paper towel over the nose. All right and then I placed some more tissue paper, um, cut up tissue paper for the eyebrow area and the arch of the nose and a lip part so a little tissue paper uh, uh bottom lip and after i paper mache it i set this out to dry and what you're going to want to do is have it dry for a couple days um and then lift it off of the bag and flip it over and have it dry the other way so the inside dries kind of a the garbage bag kind of creates a an airtight seal around the mask so it doesn't dry on the inside so you just have to flip it over so it took about three or four days to have the masks completely dried i'm sure with newspaper it will dry faster than that and then you got to get going on painting. So I painted the first top layer, the skin color, and I was like, wait, something's missing. I got to cut the eyes. Oh, dear. So I just cut a slit and then I pushed the eyelids out so that um, you could see through the slits sort of thing. This creates kind of the bumps for the eyelids. Okay, then you resume face, painting the face. And I painted the back side, side, 
then you get out the fur. So I I made like five or six masks of these all at once. So I went and I got this long fur, about a quarter yard of long fur, and it did pretty much exact amount for five masks. And I cut out a beard wide and a mustache. Make sure you don't cut the fur. I cut it and I was like, oh crap, I cut some of the fur. So you have to like lift the fur up straight before you cut it. And then I cut some thin eyebrows and I hot glued the beard on and then the mustache underneath the nose and then the eyebrows hot glued it on. And it needed some colors, so I added some pink cheeks and a pink nose. And then I outlined the eyes with a darker brown. Kind of did the little um, crinkles in his eyes. And then to add just another little detail touch, I got some wire and I did two loops and made small itty spectacles and hot glued that down. And then the last part after all that is attaching either elastic to it or some string. And I did some Christmas string on both sides so you could easily tie it or untie it. And that is how I made the Santa masks. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Subscribe for more videos. Merry Christmas! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Where is he?